100 different characters. How does that make you feel? I've done it before, plenty of times. Gachamon, 108 episodes I played, uh, uh, aside from playing a lot of major villains in the show, 100, over 100 episodes I played. For every volume of six episodes, I played anywhere between 150 and 300 minions. All of which had to have a slightly varying of voice. And uh, they all died in different ways. So, it was a lot of fun. Yes, sir. How does all of your um, How did I start out? Okay, I'll come to you next. Don't let me uh, I started out, uh, I had done theater since I was five years old. In a little bitty town, not too far from here, actually. Uh, maybe about an hour and a half from here. Uh, uh, I had done theater for 15 years since I was five. And uh, just before I graduated high school, I decided, oh, well, I'm about to get out of here, and I don't know what I want to do for a job. <laughs> and I had always really liked, you know, voice work. I'd always really liked the idea of, of you know, I, I, knew, I knew in some shape or, or fashion I wanted to be an entertainer. I wanted to be an actor. Yeah. And uh, growing up, I had always, you know, heck, my, my growing up, my, my, dis, my uh, afternoons after school were the Disney afternoon and, and Cartoon Network and stuff like that. My first words in this world ever were DuckTales woohoo. Uh, <laughs> So, um, I had always just, I've always been in love with, you know, cartoons and, and animation and, and anime, specifically. My, my grandfather really got me into Japanese animation when I was a kid. Uh, in fact, when I was eight years old. Okay, who here knows Captain Harlock? Who knows, here knows Harlock's saga? Or oh, Captain Falcon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or Queen Emeraldus or any of those guys. Okay, who here has seen or heard of a movie called Space Firebird? Really? You're the first people I've ever asked after six years who have actually heard of this movie. I don't know. Imagine, imagine watching a show, an, just a little movie, akin in craziness and just disturbingness to the end of Evangelion at age eight, done in the art style of Captain Harlock. Oh my god. That's what my grandfather showed me at eight years old, was just like, oh, Japanese animation, check this out. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight today. No, I was just like, oh, no, I fell in love, fully fell in love then. And, uh, of course, through high school, watched the Cartoon Network. Grew up, grew up with Dragon Ball. Grew up with Sailor Moon. Yeah. Grew, up with, grew up with Tenchi. And Thundercats. Samurai, Samurai Piece of Cat. Yeah. Uh, and, oh, God, and my all-time favorite show, just we'll get that out of the way, is Slayers. If you had not seen or heard of Slayers, watch it. Uh, but, uh... Back to the actual answer the actual question. Uh, I tend to go off on tears. Um, after uh, I had found out through an acquaintance of mine that uh, Funimation Entertainment and ADV Films were both literally three hours north or south from me growing up, and I was like, really? Because <laughs> I had initially, when I decided I wanted to look into voice work, I, I wanted to go into doing voice for a book on tape because I grown up with book on tape as well. I didn't realize that two of the biggest anime studios in the, in the country were literally right there. And he had gone to school, head to high school, uh, with the girl who played Nadia in Nadia's Secret Blue Water, and got the number for ADD Films Monster Island Vision in Austin for me and gave it to me. And uh, so in all throughout the latter half, the fall of 2003, I had uh, called once a month to their studio and said, hey, I'd, I'd really like to, to kind of try my hand at this, really like to see if I can do this for you guys. Uh, let me know if you want anything. I just called, you know, once a month all through the fall and saying, yeah, I'm still interested. And then in January of 2004, I did my, my first actual recording for them for the third volume of a show called Wedding Peach. And uh, from then on, I know that seems like ancient stuff now. Uh, but uh, from then on, it just, it just kind of went boom, 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 boom. And uh, within a year and a half, I had, within a, by the end of that year, I had done my first principal role. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, by January of 05, I had moved to Houston. And for the last four years, until last October, I was living down there working primarily for ADV and for Funimation. And it's just been one Lost. roller, yeah, one giant roller coaster of epic. So <laughs> for the last six years. Yes, you were next. Um, have you ever, like, cosplayed Have I ever cosplayed in my characters? I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it, possibly. San Japan. San Japan, well, maybe. You never know. We'll find, we'll figure something out. Yes, sir. Okay. You got something in my face. Have you ever... 
Yes. Are you filming? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here. Yeah. But what you call it, um, if you ever cosplay, who would you want to cosplay as? Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Let's see. Is that a good topic? Yeah, that's a good, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> as opposed to, oh, God. <laughs> Let, well, uh, I think probably if I could pull it off, if I could get all the materials, and then specifically I'd have to find a little yin yang pen, I would cosplay Kenny Chain. Because he's just, like, that character really, that's, that's a show that's actually inspired me. That really has kind of affected me in a very positive way. So hopefully, we'll, we'll see some of that. I'll get right back to you, sir. Get right back to you. Yes. Dominic. That's me. Uh, given the opportunity, would you do voice out, voiceover work for my Zaki film? Given the opportunity. For, if, 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 are you kidding me? Miyazaki? Yeah. <laughs> if Disney ever, was, if Studio Ghibli was ever like, uh, hey, you know, we got this whatever Miyazaki film, would you like to do it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, just right on the it's, spot. It's like, uh, yeah. Do you want me to fly myself out? I'll buy a ticket. I'll come there right now. I'll drive. I'll swim across the Gulf. This, this, yeah, there you go. I'll do whatever I have to. I'll, yeah, I'll do a Miyazaki film in a heartbeat. Yes. Who's your favorite character to, to uh, play? My favorite character to voice? Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll make this a three-parter. As far as, like, good guys and just hero characters, Kenichi, by far. As far as villains, uh, I love any sort of character, any sort of character that can allow me to do a psychotic laugh. <laughs> I will do in a heartbeat. And then my favorite, the one that tops that, is uh, by Count Vulcans in Pumpkin Scissors. Who basically, okay, who here? I know you guys are in school. You had to have read this at some point. Who knows the story of the most dangerous game? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basically, Vulcans is the concept of that character, but with a tank. Oh my goodness. He drives a semi-automatic tank and hunts down people for fun Woo! with it. And so he's literally sitting there. One of my I, like my one of my favorite lines what was it? Um, one of the opening of the episode was, uh, "Of course it has. Hunting is a sport of nobles, after all. So Hoslo, isn't it glorious? Isn't this a grand time to be alive for both nobles and commoners? The haves and have-nots, my dear Hoslo." The gap between the two has never been so perfectly clear. <laughs> it cut out for the laughing. It cut out for the laughing. Now, there we go. Ready? You ready for this? Want a psychotic laugh? No, I'm not. Right, you ready? Yes. Are you? Are you? You want to record it? Okay, you ready? Yes or no? <laughs> We can't do any laugh anymore. And as far, okay, in, in between, as far as characters that are just crazy fun, just supporting, where they're, they're kind of like the chaotic characters. If, okay, who's seen Comic Party or Comic Party Revolution or knows of it? Okay, a few. Taishi. I played Taishi in Comic Party Revolution. He's kind of that chaotic character that will either, you know, can sometimes screw up the story for you or make it awesome. So, as a chaotic type character, he's my absolute favorite that I ever played was, was Taishi. Will you play all the voices for us? I'm sorry to interrupt. Do I what? Will you play all the voices for us? All the voices? Yes, all the voices. All the voices. Okay, so, well, okay, so we did my Count Walkins. Okay, so here's Taishi was, what was it? Like, my brothers and my sisters, my comrades, we shall conquer the world of Dojinchi! <laughs> and uh, Kenichi, the hero type, is. Uh, what was it? That's right. I'm first disciple of Ryozan Paku, Kenichi Shirahama, and I am history's strongest disciple. <laughs> there you go, sir. I'm so glad I came here. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, and one time, for whatever reason, they were just like, hey, you want to play a, a, an eight-year-old kid? <laughs> okay, let's try this. I played Rin Kanagi in Kaisen of Stigma, who was basically, what was one of his In the name of the Kanagi, go back to the darkness! <laughs> Fun stuff. Oh, yes, okay, you have had your hand up in the back for a long time. Yes? I'm sorry, I already said this, but what characters do you play? What characters do I play? Uh, well, recently, Kenichi Shirahama in Kenichi Mai's Disciple, Koichi Hayase in Light Barrels of Iron, uh, Haka in uh, Halo Legends, Rin Kanagi in Kazuno Stigma, uh, Oxford in Soul Leader, and a lot more. <laughs> I can't really remember them all at this point. Taishin Kamakura. Kiyomi Takano with a wallflower. <laughs>